Week number five here of the high school football season, back on the road again, and uh, going to get some more windshield time, Jason, as we head up to Bellevue. But first, uh, I don't know, I think the grass is still burning down at the Little Rose Bowl. It was a track meet Friday night, and not necessarily what Coach Peterson was looking for. Offensively, it's pretty close to what they were looking for. Defensively, you're right. That's a, Coach Peterson said this much after the game. He said 420 yards is just too many, too many yards to give up to a team. You do that as we get further down the road, you're going to lose a ball game. Most time in high school, if you get 400 yards on offense, you win a football game. Luckily, the Bears had 531 and scored no fins. They kind of scored at will for a while. And Luke Lenock pretty much scored at will six times. So yeah. at any rate, it was, wow, you're right. The grass is, that was already browning up is a little bit more brown now. <laughs> well, and I think uh, the field up here at the uh, practice field is going to get a little brown, at least with some of the defensive drills. Because Coach talked about it after the game Friday, and we've seen that this week in practice. The guys trying to rededicate themselves. And, I mean, with a youthful team, Coach talked about it. There's going to be some growing pains. And, you know, a couple weeks ago there were some things that they were working on. This week still a few other things. So, I mean, still trying to find that complete game from this team. And, you know, hopefully they're still working at it to where we can see it get a little closer to coming together here Friday night. Yeah, and they're talking with those drills you're talking about. They're really getting in on those nuances of the little things that people in the stands may not pick up is that when you're rolling, when I'm running left to make a tackle and a guy's coming at me, which shoulder do I want to go at? You want to go at the outside shoulder, the shoulder that's towards the sideline. And guys are starting to make angles to go either middle or inside. You're not going to get able to get a guy to cut back so you can get some help or he's going to get outside of you. And we saw that last week. Uh, with Makoka to Valley. So they're working hard on those little nuances and just being in position to at least break down and make a tackle. So we can have bring, I'm going to bring it back out so the team can have a party at the football again on defense. <laughs> there you go. And they're going to need that because this week, taking on a Bellevue squad that much improved. I mean, they what, two or three wins last year, but yeah. they're already 4 and 0, uh, and they're putting up some offensive numbers so far this year. They got that was a team that we talked about, Matt and I, on the podcast uh, before the season. That was one of our surprise, look, thinking that could be a surprise team. The team you might want to watch out for because they're hungry. They're pretty young as well. I mean, most of their skill position players are underclassmen. they got a quarterback. Uh, Kay Doherty started last year as a sophomore. His younger brother was a freshman, and Trey didn't play full-time varsity, but he still played some varsity. Uh, Running back Peter Kilberg, man, like we said yesterday, recorded our podcast early, sorry, this week, uh, said if you were to look at the statistics from outside the district, who do you think the leading rusher is? It's not Luke Lenock. No. It's Peter Kilberg, and it is by quite a wide margin. He's got 12 rushing touchdowns. Doherty Cade variety is thrown for 12 touchdowns. So, it, I mean, they're a pretty good football team. I think Coach Ty Lee wants to get in right now with this. <laughs> photo bomb, photo bomb. <laughs> Mark this on your time right now. So, but yeah, I mean, you look, I mean, balanced. They're a very aggressive team. I mean, that was something last year that we were able to take advantage of was maybe some of that aggressiveness and, you know, get them into some overplay situations. And, you know, our line's going to be tested much like we were with West Burlington, where they're going to do a lot of slanting, a lot of blitzing, a lot of stunting. And so, going to have to communicate. We're going to have to make sure that uh, we pay attention to where the ball's going and make sure we get a hat on guys up there offensively. Yeah, and they're working on making sure you talk about that, but get the hat on them, but making sure we keep guys in front of us on the routes. We've seen the last couple of weeks, it's no secret, you can see it on the film or if you're at the game, uh, teams got a couple of nice deep vertical routes on the Bears and they went to it and uh, the speed picked on someone that may not have been as quick. That's just what kind of like what West Branch was doing last year with all the speed that they had. So the Bears just need to get better position, safeties get over. And again, Coach Kelly, I know, has really stressed that this week, a 8 to 10 yard rule on defense, giving... You know, keep them within that level, and it's going to be pretty tough for a team to go vertical on you. And hopefully they can shorten it up because Bellevue puts a lot of points up and a lot of yards up in a hurry. Yeah, they are a lot better than we saw last year. And, uh, again, second year in a row we're going to be up there thanks to the district realignment. Yeah, it's a great vantage point, great setting. Uh, press box is pretty nice, too. We've got some room up there. So we're looking forward to that. And, again, it's a 7 o'clock start since they have so many underclassmen as well. No fresh off ahead of time, but uh, looking forward to that one. And, you know, hey, head into the second half of the season after this one. Let's see if we can uh, give them their first loss of the year. Things start shaking out now. Three, four games into a district season, you start seeing shaking out. There are eight teams. There are only three of them that are undefeated through two weeks. West Branch and Bellevue are two or three. That leaves us. Welcome to Thunderdome. Two teams enter, one team leaves undefeated in the district. So, Thunderdome reference. We've got to love it. So, uh, seven o'clock kickoff. If you can't make it up to Bellevue, 6.30, we'll have the pregame with the Bearcast right here at westbranchfootball.com.